It's interesting you brought up mercury and fillings. Um, we talked to a lot of physicians about those. Do we know, let's say somebody uh, in their 40s, 50s who have had fillings for 30 plus years, are those fillings constantly emitting mercury and is there, a, is there some point where that does stop or how, do we know how much we're actually getting in our body when we have them that long? You know, there are different ways that you can actually measure the vapors. University of Calgary in Canada did a study and they showed the effects of mercury on the brain. Um, but when the mercury is sitting in your mouth in the form of the amalgam fillings, every time you chew, gases from the, the mercury are actually being released and go throughout the whole body. About 20 years ago, scientists realized that those mercury vapors can actually cross the placenta barrier, as can a lot of other toxic chemicals that the body's exposed to. There was a study done where they looked at the cord blood from about 200 infants across the country. This is, um, you can find the study on environmentalworkinggroup.org. And they found that the average baby in America was born with over 200 toxic chemicals in their system already.